Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the Interview Training Company, PassMyInterview.com, and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to pass a secretary interview. Now, it does not matter which secretary role you are applying for, and it also does not matter which organisation you are being interviewed for to become a secretary, please do watch this video tutorial from beginning to end because I will give you my top seven secretary interview questions and more importantly, my high scoring answers. Now, before I get into those, a very warm welcome to this tutorial. My name is Richard McMahon. That's me there in the center of the screen. I've been helping people like you for about 20 years now to pass their interviews and I do that specifically by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. Please do subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video and then you won't miss out on any of the weekly training videos that I'm uploading. And I would also appreciate your support if you gave the video a like. Thank you very much. So let's get into those secretary interview questions and high scoring answers. You can either take notes as I progress and write down the questions and the answers or if you stick around, I will tell you where you can download my full set of 21 great answers to tough secretary interview questions. So here's the first one. You will be asked at the start of your secretary interview, tell me about yourself. It might be posed as, please introduce yourself to us. Now we want to get you off on the right foot. We want to give them a punchy response and also one that's positive and loaded with great keywords. So here we go. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for the position of secretary today. I am an ambitious, hardworking, positive and professional secretary who has a track record of achievement in all work I undertake. I believe one of the most important skills to possess as a secretary is that of being able to carry out multiple tasks to a high, consistent standard. This is just one of the many skills I have that makes me the perfect candidate for this position. Outside of work, I have a happy, stable and positive life, which means when I am at work, I am attentive, organised and highly effective. If you hire me as your secretary, I believe you will be impressed with my ability to complete tasks quickly and also my strong work ethics and values, as well as my ability to communicate effectively with both internal team members and external clients or stakeholders. If you use that answer at the beginning of your interview when they ask you the question, tell me about yourself, you will be up and running and it will also give you great confidence when you move forward and answer the next questions. So the second secretarial interview question I want you to prepare for is why do you want to work for our company as a secretary? So why have you chosen our company or our organization? Now, I want to give you a short and positive answer to this interview question. Now, you can use this for any kind of organization. As a secretary, I think it's important to choose the company first over the position. I am keen to work for a company who I can commit to for a lengthy period of time. And having researched your organization in detail, I believe the high standards you set and also the enthusiastic plans you have for the future make you an extremely attractive employer to work for. That's all you need to say. Okay, a great answer to the question, why do you want to work for our company or our organization as a secretary? Next interview question. In your opinion, what are the top seven qualities needed to excel as a secretary? Here we go. As a secretary, you need to possess a multitude of different skills, qualities and attributes in order to be effective. In my opinion, the seven most important qualities are being organized and reliable in all work you undertake. Your employer should be able to give you lots of work and expect it to be completed on time without having to chase you up. You also need to possess excellent communication and interpersonal skills, especially when dealing with external clients, organizations and stakeholders. As a secretary, you are often the first point of contact and on that basis, you need to act as a positive role model for your organization in how you communicate. Other top qualities include having strong attention to detail skills, being able to multitask, acting with loyalty, honesty and integrity in all of your work and finally being competent in the use of all applicable apps and software packages that will enable you to perform your tasks to a high standard. So those are the top qualities 
needed to excel in the position of, the, of a secretary. So my advice is to utilize those in your answer to that question. What's your biggest weakness guaranteed to come up at some stage during your secretary interview? So we have to be very careful when answering this question. And on the surface, it appears very easy to answer. Now, you have to be honest. However, what we don't want to do is to give them a weakness um, that is aligned with the role of a secretary. So here is my great answer to this interview question. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness is that in the past, I used to spend too long on certain tasks and projects simply because I wanted to make sure they were 100% accurate and correct. I have strong work values and I set very high standards, but the amount of time I was spending on some tasks, checking for accuracy and detail was taking too long. A previous manager pointed this out to me a while ago, but since it was brought to my attention, I have changed my approach to completing tasks. Whilst I still maintain very high standards, I get the job done quickly and I then move on to the next task. Conversely, I guess one of my strengths is the fact that I will always take on board feedback from my manager with a view to continually improving and developing in the role as a secretary. Now, you'll notice what I've done there is I've provided a weakness that I used to have, but I've resolved it. And that's the important thing. But I've also added that bit at the end that demonstrates that one of my strengths is the fact that I can take on board feedback, which is a, an important strength as a secretary. You have to be able to take on board constructive feedback and criticism. Now, I still have a number of questions to run through, so please do stick around. But when you're ready, if you click that link in the top right hand corner of the screen, it will take you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download my full set of 21 secretary interview questions and top scoring answers. Next question, describe a time when you completed multiple tasks whilst working under pressure. Now, you and I know that one of the important qualities of a secretary is to multitask whilst under pressure. And they are asking here for a specific situation that you were in when you've done this before, when you've completed multiple tasks under pressure. My advice is to give a minimum of four tasks that you are completing over a period of one day, difficult ones where you have to get them done under pressure. Here's my suggested answer to this question. In my previous role as a secretary, my manager came in one Monday morning and stressed he needed a number of urgent tasks to be completed all by the end of the day. The tasks included arranging a priority meeting for the following day of important internal company managers, extracting large amounts of data from company sales figures so we could use that information at the meeting, creating a written report that was due to be finished that same day, and finally completing all of my usual workload, which included answering all telephone calls, taking messages, and handling organizational correspondence. I actually really enjoy working under pressure. And so I created a priority list of what tasks needed to be done and in what order. Now this enabled me to focus on each task, get it completed successfully before moving on to the next job. During that day, I worked solidly without a break and I also stayed behind late to make sure everything was set up and prepared for the next day's meeting. So that shows that you enjoy working under pressure and more importantly, you can handle it and you know how to prioritize tasks, which again, as you and I know, is really important when you're working as a secretary. Next question, how would you deal with a difficult client on the phone? So how would you deal with a difficult client on the phone? So they are looking to see here that you can communicate with integrity and professionalism and also remain calm. Here is my suggested answer. It's always important to remember not to take things personally when dealing with clients. And sometimes people have valid reasons to be stressed. If someone was being difficult on the phone, I would always remember I am representing your organization. And on that basis, I would be professional at all times. I would remain calm, listen to them carefully, allow them to speak, and then take the appropriate steps to either resolve any issues they had or provide them with the information they needed. I would be confident and resilient at all times in my communication with clients. I always find if you are positive, if you listen, and if you are genuinely nice to people, they will always come around at some stage during the call and you can then achieve your objectives. That's a brilliant answer to that question. How would you deal with difficult clients on the phone? Next question, how would you handle stressful days at work? As a secretary, you will have stressful days at work on a regular basis. So how do you handle stress? Here's my suggested answer. 
I handle stress really well. And as I mentioned in my previous answer, I tend to thrive in this type of environment. I handle stress by always remaining calm and composed. If you get stressed or if you let your emotions get the better of you, you can't concentrate and complete tasks accurately. I always find the best way to deal with stressful days is to draw up a list of priority tasks that need to be completed. That way, you are focused intently on what needs to be done. I also set myself clear timeframes for getting jobs completed, and I then go all out to get them done within the time frame I have allocated for that particular job. I don't mind working extra hours, so I always have the backup option that I can stay late if needed to complete any other non-urgent tasks that might need my attention. The important thing for me is that I start the next working day fresh and with a new set of tasks and challenges to focus on. Again, that's a very strong answer to that question, how do you handle stressful days at work? It shows that you understand stress, um, the causes of it, and you know that it's really important to remain calm and composed because then you can concentrate and get your tasks completed by drawing up that priority task list. Now, don't forget, please do make sure you download my full set of 21 secretary interview questions and answers by clicking that link in the top right hand corner or by going through to my website, passmyinterview.com. Hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe. And as I say, I would appreciate your support if you like the video. It always motivates me to create more content if I know that you enjoy the tutorials. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, please stick them in the comments section below the video and I would be more than happy to answer them for you. I wish you all the best in your pursuit to pass in your secretary interview and have a brilliant day. Thank you very much.